Jeremy Sockman back again with a look at a movie that might have snuck by you if you weren't watching the newspapers back in 1972. But luckily, in retrospect, I was, and it didn't sneak by me. It's Prime Cut starring Gene Hackman and Lee Marvin. And this one's got something to say that's as relevant today as it was then. So let's take a look. We start off seeing the inner workings of a slaughterhouse in all its disgusting glory. But this one's not just killing and butchering cattle, it's turning a man into sausage. Those people links are sent back to the head of the mob in Chicago, and he's none too pleased about having his own soil and hot dogs. He hires Nick Devlin to head on down to Kansas City and revenge the poor processed goon. Turns out a dude named Marianne owes big bucks to the mob and doesn't want to pay up. Devlin agrees for 50k and heads down with some muscle. He starts off meeting one of Marianne's flunkies, named Weenie, in a flop house and beats him up with a warning. Too bad, Weenie. That's your hot dog hand. You tell Marianne that I'm here. And not to get any fancy ideas about turning me or any of my boys into hamburger. You got it. It turns out Marianne is into selling more than just cows. He's also pushing ladies. When Devlin finds out, he takes one of them named Poppy as down payment. She's a mess, but he cleans her up, takes her for a fancy dinner, and learns of an orphanage where Marianne's been prepping other girls for auction. That makes Devlin really mad. So he goes to the county fair to get the cash, only to be double-crossed with meat chased by goons, and then by a combine harvester, which harvests his car. He gets away, but Marianne takes Poppy hostage, so, spoiler alert, Devlin shows up at his house with guns and shoots everyone. Then he and Poppy go and free the girls from the orphanage, too. Get him out. My pleasure, Nick. You can't kill me. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You sure do. You've got fine style. Now, Prime Cut was a real grade-A side of movie when it came off the line in the 70s, and that was because of the big-time action, gunfights, and farm machinery on display. But it's who was behind the camera that puts it a cut above. You see, this is a movie made by angry vegans. Devlin hates eating meat. He calls out Marianne for having the guts to eat tripe, and is sickened by the whole enterprise the man operates. He wants to shut him down not just for treating his cattle like meat, but for treating his women like cattle. He knows that how you treat the lowest shows your true colors, and eating animals makes Marianne the lowest of the low. I thought you and Weenie were in the meatpacking business. Well, cow flesh, girl flesh, all the same to me. The director, Michael Ritchie, was putting the whole meat is murder idea on screen, literally. He's showing the horrible way animals die in a slaughterhouse, the industrial processing of their insides to fill ours, and then having an actual human become food to really fire that bolt into our skulls. Even a dumb cow couldn't miss that metaphor. You eat guts. Yeah. I like them. Devlin is the wrath of the vegan, coming to show you what's going to happen if you don't stop with all the killing of animals. He's going to kill you! Now usually, vegans can be pretty preachy and annoying, but Richie knew that the best way to change people's minds isn't to yell at them and call them evil, it's to sneak your message into entertainment. A movie like Prime Cut really shows us how you can grind in your social commentary into the leanest revenge story, giving people the links they need to see what you were hoping to squeeze into their heads. It's teaching through fun instead of nagging. What do you think of all this, Nick? I think it stinks. Kudos, Michael Ritchie. You produce some delicious subtext here. Mmm. -mm. I'm Jeremy Sockman, and I'm giving Prime Cut my seal of approval. Finish me off, Nick. Do it. You would for a beast. You're a man. There's no difference. You're wrong. There is. This beautiful creature must die.